Copeland. I am here at the Lyric Theater where On the Town is taking place. And I just wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes and how I've been preparing for tonight, opening night. I can't wait for you all to see, so come along with me. I'd never ever have considered Broadway. Like my ballet career has been my complete 100% focus for the past 15 years. Um, so when they came to me and they said we're interested in having you come in and do the part of Ivy Smith and so I thought I'm just gonna see the show and see what I think of it. And I was blown away. I love old movies. This is Ivy Smith. Broadway show was first, I believe, um, from Fancy Free. That's where it that's where it came from. So Jerome Robbins is the original, because he created Fancy Free for ABT, and then On the Town came from Fancy Free, and then he was the choreographer for the Broadway show. I've been on stage now performing professionally for half of my life almost, so I don't often like walk into a situation feeling nervous. And I did, like I was stepping into this building for the first time, like on my first day and meeting with like the musical director and sitting down and sing. That was the first thing that I did with them was um, sing. And it was terrifying. Having to learn all this choreography and being so tired, it's all like mm -hmm. setting in like this is happening in like a week. Yeah. I was so focused on learning the lines and going to these vocal sessions that when I started learning the choreography, I was like, oh my god, there's so much material and it's really difficult and I'm not used to learning something not in front of a mirror. I don't, I'm just so used to feeling like, oh my gosh, they're going to judge me and what are people going to think, but I just have to do it. <laughs> this is what I wear for the Dream Coney Island sequence and um, there's a lot of partnering in it, so it's crazy to wear such a long dress. Um, this one's going to be fun, even though I only have it on for a short amount of time. Um, this is an actual Coney Island scene, and this is what I do for a job as a cooch dancer. So <laughs> this is the costume that I wear for a little bit. I mean, this is like a harem skirt, so it's like, I don't know, it's like kind of like a belly dancer type of thing, but like, yeah, guys can just freely like grope you. That's what's happening on the stage. Um, and I'm not happy about it. That's not what I want to do. I want to be an actress and singer and a ballerina. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then this is just my my going out dress on the town. Thank you. There was stage management. Okay. And my ballet slippers? Sorry. Were in the ballet Um, They're being painted next door, so I sent somebody over uh, to pick them up. The point shoe is made to be the color of your skin. Um, which says a lot about the lack of diversity in classical ballet since the color of a point shoe is called European pink. Whenever I have my skin exposed, I, I put pancake, they call it, like makeup on my shoe to make it my skin color. You know, I was given skin color tights, which all the girls wear, and I said, well, I can't wear pink ballet slippers with my skin color being brown, so they dyed them for me. I think overall, Whenever I step into something that's uncomfortable or not familiar, like I grow in leaps and bounds. It's important for everyone to, to take that leap and, and dive into something that they never thought they could um, accomplish or do. It's just such an amazing feeling um, to accomplish something that you thought was like not even attainable. I hope you enjoyed this backstage access and there will be more to come so if you want to subscribe just go right here. <laughs>